Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I make these pretty washcloths. You can use them for cleaning, you can use them for washing your dishes, you can use them in your bathroom. I like to use them for cleaning and in my kitchen for my dishes. So right here I'm just showing you a few printed fabrics that I have. I purchased pretty much all of these at Walmart. The prices are very good at Walmart. I want to say I don't spend any more than $3 a yard, maybe $4 a yard. And they do have quite a selection. This print right here, I actually purchased this one at Hobby Lobby and this one as well. Those are actually two of my favorite ones. And then I purchased this terry cloth at Walmart. So right here, I already have two cut out and I'm just going to show you what I use for a guide and I will show you how I make them. So I hope you guys all enjoy the video. So this is what I use for my guide. I just take a quilting square and I just place it right on top of the fabric and then I'll just use a pencil and I'll just outline um, the shape and then I will just cut the squares out and I will do the same exact thing for the printed fabric. squares cut out I will start sewing and the terry cloth it really doesn't matter which side you use but for the printed one you want to make sure that it is facing down and then I'm just gonna sew a straight stitch almost completely around I'm not going to completely sew around the entire square because I will be turning these inside out Take 
So right here you can see that I didn't make a complete stitch all the way around and I'm going to show you what I do here in a second. I am just going to trim off the excess uh, fabric that I have right here. I don't want it to get too bulky when I turn it inside out. I will also trim the corners here. It just makes the corners a little more um, crisp, I guess you could, would call it. Um, anyway, so right here I'm just going to turn it inside out and then I'm going to flatten it. You could iron it. That would probably be the smart thing to do, but I'm a little impatient and I didn't want to get out my iron and um, this has always worked just fine for me. So right here I have turned it all the way inside out and then you will see the opening here at the top. I'm just going to flip it under and then just kind of hold it. This would be a smart time to use an iron as well. Um, but like I said, I'm too impatient for that today. So um, what I will do is I will just hold it and then I will just take my sewing machine and I will just sew a straight stitch completely around to finish the dish rack. Here they are all finished and I think they turned out absolutely beautiful. You guys can really customize these to your decor and if you have a sewing machine and you know how to sew a straight stitch, trust me you can make these. They are super, super easy. When I'll be coming home Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you left me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Bye. I, whenever we're apart It takes me through the